Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. The shorter you sleep, the shorter your lifespan. Hi and welcome to the book lab. This is the place where we bring you the best book recommendations when it comes to psychology, philosophy, human nature and human potential. And nothing wrecks human potential like bad sleep. And in Matthew Walker's book, Why We Sleep, we get a full rundown of the latest research. We get to know how sleep is generated, which is super fascinating. Dreams and why modernity promotes bad sleep the consequences of bad sleep and of course the benefits that we get from getting adequate shut eye. Lack of sleep makes you a baby. At least that's what happens with me when I don't get enough sleep. I My feelings go haywire. I worry unnecessarily. I make terrible, <laughs> terrible food choices. I have learned to observe when this happens and I try to get myself to bed somehow. I also try to avoid making big decisions or even small ones when I'm in this state of mind. Most people don't know how long it takes to overcome a single dose of caffeine. Therefore, there's a lot of people who fail to link bad sleep with the cup of coffee they drank nine hours ago. Sleep for memory consolidation is an all or nothing event. If you don't sleep the very first night after learning, you lose the chance to consolidate those memories, even if you get a lot of catch up sleep after. When you read through the book you will have a long list of good reasons for why you should get adequate sleep uh, which would be seven to eight hours I think and some of the reasons are you live longer, it enhances memory, it makes you more creative and it walls off the flu and colds, you will feel happier, less depressed and less anxious, it will protect you from heart attacks, strokes and diabetes. So that's a pretty good list, that's some pretty good arguments, right? So why don't we allow ourselves to sleep enough? I've, I'm really trying to and I've taken some actions based on this book, actually a lot of actions. Uh, one being that I've increased my sleep from, uh, it was actually under seven hours and now I try to sleep at least seven and a half. Uh, the reason I don't go up to eight, I think eight is my, is my sweet spot actually from the experiments I've done with sleeping, that's when I feel absolutely the best. But with the book lab, which is my passion project, uh, full-time work, uh, young children, uh, wife, family stuff that I act, that I really, really want to prioritize. If I sleep eight hours, I can't do this. I can't do the book lab, and I love doing the book lab. So I'm not. I'm just not willing to compromise. I guess. And the last action I've taken based on this book is to look over my use of caffeine. I've been one of those people who've been drink who drinks coffee all day, throughout the whole day, late in the afternoon, sometimes even in the evening. And what I didn't know before was how much it actually messes with your sleep and the half-life of caffeine, the, the time it takes for, um, for it to wear off until it's just half of it left in the body, I think. That's the definition of the half-life, I don't remember, uh, is longer than you think. Nowadays I try to have my last cup of coffee at latest 1 p.m. And that way I can make sure that it's, the caffeine is out of my system when it's time to go to bed. And I'm struggling and I don't always follow this rule, but that's what I'm trying to implement now. This book is not a fun read per se. It can be quite technical and it's actually terrifying. It's quite hard to read this book and not change aspects of your lifestyle in regards to sleep after you read it. I want to recommend Why We Sleep to anyone. I know it's been disputed on some aspect of the information, so I'll actually link to the critique of this book uh, down below in the description because I think it's important to hear that. But in general, the direction and the message that this book uh, is trying to send, like the importance of sleep, something that is overlooked in modern society, at least uh, where I live in Sweden and I think most of the Western world at least is like, don't sleep, go up at 5 a.m., go to bed late, work hard, all of that. It's like that, that will take a toll on you and that's not a good strategy. Life is not a race, it's a marathon, right? And 
getting your sleep right will help you unlock your full potential. This book is going straight to my great reads list. It's a list of all the best books that I've read so far on my reading journey. Out of hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of books, there are a few that really stood out and this is one of them. You can see the full list in the link below if you want to just jump to the best of the best of the best when it comes to books. Uh, that's enough for me. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm back next week with more reviews. And let me know in the comments, how much do you sleep? Do you feel like you sleep too little, too much? And let me know about all the experiments you have done to get your sleep right. I would love to know. Uh, press the subscribe button, like, all of that. It helps me reach more people. And see you next week. Until then, we are out.